Welcome to this full body morning yoga flow to open up the whole body, releasing any tightness and tension in the body. We'll be working through twists and turns, opening up and coming into balances to really challenge ourselves. We will be also incorporating core strength and stability to complete this flow today. So when you're ready, come on down to the mat and we'll get started. So from the top of your mat, take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up high to the sky, take the hands to heart centre. Take another deep breath in, sweep the arms up, opening up the shoulders, the chest and hands to heart centre. One more time, inhale, in through the nose, exhaling out through the nose, hands to heart centre. This time sweeping the arms up high to the sky and then sweep down, taking the hands to the front of your mat, stepping the feet back into plank position. Send your body down into Chaturanga, inhaling up into Cobra. Exhale out into Down Dog. Take a round of breath here, inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Looking ahead, step your right foot forward. Inhale, rise into Crescent. Exhale, take the right hand down by your side. Reach your left arm up and over, finding this deep psoas stretch. Inhaling. And as you exhale, you're going to grab hold of your left elbow with your right hand and then draw it back over to your right hand side. Find this deep stretch and opening into the side body and the back of the arm. Reach your arms back up and sweep the left hand down to the ground, coming up into our twisted lunge. Inhaling and exhaling. Ground the right hand down to the inside of the right leg, left arm up high to the sky for side angle. Inhale. Rise up into our warrior two position. Inhale, open up into our reverse warrior. And then from here, exhaling, framing the foot, step the right foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, rise, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, stepping the left foot forward this time. Ground down. Inhale, rise, cobra. And then exhaling, left hand down the side body. Reach up and over with the right side, opening up into the psoas and hip flexor. Inhaling. And as you exhale, reach arms up high to the sky, grab holding of the right elbow, drawing over to your left side this time. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, release back to centre, take the arms up to the sky. And we're now going to take the right hand down to the ground, left arm up high to the sky for twisted lunge. Take a deep breath in, ground the left hand down, reaching the right arm up high to the sky for side angle, inhaling. And as you exhale, we're going to rise up into warrior two. Inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, frame the foot. Grounding down, stepping the left foot back, coming back into our chaturanga. Inhale, rise into cobra or up dog. Exhale, into down dog. From here, take a deep breath in. Looking ahead, bending into the knees, jump or step to the top of your mat. Half lift, exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, forward fold. Ground the hands down, step the right foot back, then the left foot. From here, take a deep breath in, holding into plank, drawing those tummy muscles in, inhaling and exhaling. Come down into your chaturanga, inhale, rise for cobra, exhale out into down dog. Take another deep breath in and exhale, sinking deep between the shoulders before rising up with the right leg and bending the top knee, opening up the hips, looking under your right underarm. Inhale. Exhale, draw the right knee to the back of the elbow and rise back up three leg dog. Inhale, back of elbow, three leg dog. To the outside of your elbow, three leg dog. And then coming across the body, back up and three leg dog. Look ahead, bend the knee, step the foot to the outside of the right hand this time, coming into low lizard lunge and maybe gently moving forwards and backwards here, just opening up the hips, maybe taking some circles here, whatever feels right for you. If you wish, you can come down into that low lizard lunge coming onto the forearms or maybe one forearm, one hand, whatever feels right for you. 
Sink the back knee down, ground down into the left hand and rise up with the right arm. Inhaling, opening up the torso. Maybe reaching back towards the back foot or maybe even grabbing that back foot. You could also use a strap here. And then take the left elbow down to the ground if that is available to you. If not, don't worry. Take a deep breath in, looking up to the sky before exhaling, grounding back down into that low lizard lunge, walking the hands back in, coming into our lizard lunge and then releasing the leg back. So we're opening up the hamstrings now as we release the toes to the sky. Exhale as you release backwards. Inhale as you come forwards. This time we're going to sink the back knee down and we're going to release back. We're going to take the arms forward. And then we're going to walk the hands forward, sinking into the hip flexor before walking that leg back. So we're really trying to find this gentle opening into the hips, into the knees, the ankles and the toes. Really take care here. Don't rush and find the depth which feels right for you. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, walking the hands forward, Pressing back out into our lizard lunge, we're going to step that right foot back behind us, coming into wild thing. Inhale, opening up the hips, opening up the chest, before grounding the right hand down to the floor and releasing back into down dog. Take another deep breath in, sweep the left leg up high to the sky, bending the top knee, opening up the hip, looking under your arm. Inhaling, exhale, draw the left knee to left elbow and release. Left knee to right elbow and release left knee to left elbow and release and finally left knee to right elbow releasing back into our three leg dog before taking that foot all the way to the outside of your left hand coming into that lizard lunge we're going to again working into the opposite side now coming into a low lizard lunge moving the body forwards and back if that feels good maybe moving through the, the hips into circles or again maybe just staying in that upright position in that standard lizard lunge from here reaching that left arm back to the right foot take a nice deep breath in opening up the torso opening up the chest inhaling and maybe taking it down into that right forearm again you don't need to do this if it doesn't feel right for you but for those who are trying this remember to rotate that left shoulder back Slowly release, come back into our lizard lunge, and now we're going to extend through the back of the leg here. So we're going to open up into the hamstring, inhaling and exhaling. Remembering to exhale as we release back, and inhale as we move forward. Exhale, inhale, and then from here, slowly walking ourselves back, finding that nice deep stretch, and then reaching the body forward into the knee, opening up the hip flexor. Exhale, reach it all the way back. And then inhale, moving it all the way forward again. One more time. Exhale all the way back, finding that lovely deep stretch here. And then inhale, move the body forward, lift the chest up and step that left foot behind you, opening into wild thing. Take a nice deep breath in, really opening up the arms, ground the hands down, ground the feet down into our down dog. Deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bend to the knees, jump or step forward, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. And then this time, taking the fingertips underneath the big toes. See if you can draw the body down a little lower. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, release. And this time, inhale, half lift. And then taking the left hand away, grounding into the left foot, take the right foot away from the floor. Take your time here. Take your left hand to the outside of the body. Now you can either stay here with the knee bent or if you have it available to you, straighten out that leg. Inhaling and exhaling. Take your time, bring that foot across the body. So we're now going to take hold of that foot dropping the knee down so we're now taking the foot into the crease of the hip and take the right arm out to the side this time inhale and exhale from here holding onto that foot we're going to slowly take our time and move our body down so that we can reach the floor 
Now grounding down into the hands, we're going to bend into the knee, jumping back, sitting back into this figure of four position before releasing into our pigeon pose. So sliding that right knee behind the wrist, rolling the shoulders back, sitting up tall before walking the hands forward, maybe taking them into the forearms or extending further ahead, whatever feels right for you today. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale out, really finding some space in those hips. From here, we're going to walk the hands back and we're going to lift and lower that front knee. So we're just finding a little bit of movement in the hip, the abductor, and really releasing any tension here. Extend that right leg underneath you, coming into fallen star, deep breath in. And as you exhale, sink the bum down and reach the left hand to the left toes, reaching overhead with the right arm if that is available to you. Switch sides, right hand to right leg, left arm overhead. Deep breath in, sweep the legs together now, facing the back of your mat. Reach forward, forward fold. Maybe you'll be taking your hands to the outsides of your feet, maybe just to the shins, maybe just to the thighs, whatever feels right here. Ground the hands behind you, ground the feet down, come into reverse tabletop. Take a nice deep breath in, press into the hands, lift up into a little L sit. Drive the hips up, tabletop. And then this time, turning the fingertips around, we're going to come to face the top of the mat, bend into the knees, wave the body forward, inhaling, exhaling, send the bum back, roll the body forward. So we're just coming up and out into that plank. Bend into the knees this time, jump forward or step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, and we're going to half lift. So this time, grabbing hold of the other toe now. So we're going to slowly make our way up. Take your time. If you wobble, if you fall, that's absolutely fine. Draw the right arm out to the side. Extend that left leg if that is available to you. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. Now let's take that foot across the body again. So it's coming up into the crease of the hip. If you can do that, you can hold on to that foot and then you're going to take the left arm to the outside. So it's like a standing tree pose. And then grounding down, we're going to send the bum back slightly, taking the hands to the ground. You can adjust your foot if you need to here. And then take your hands to the floor, bend into the knees and then jump back. And we're coming into that figure of four before dropping down into pigeon pose. Draw the body up lovely and tall, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently release all the way down. So exhaling coming down to the floor, releasing the forehead to the floor. Think of lengthening the back here. Try not to just curve the back, really lengthen out. Inhaling and exhaling. Take another round of breath here. As you draw the body up, press into the back toes, and we're gonna do that little lift and lower of the hip and the knee. Just take your time here. And then slide that bottom leg out, opening into fall and star, inhaling. And then exhale, sink the bum down. And we're going to reach over to our right hand side this time, left arm overhead. And then switching sides over to the opposite side, left side. Inhale, rise. As we rise, we're going to sweep that left leg round to the right now, facing the back of our mat, reach the arms up tall. Exhale, reach forward, forward, fold. Take another deep breath in, inhaling. And as you exhale, sweep the arms all the way behind you, ground into the feet, drive the hips up to the sky. And then from here, deep breath in, draw the bottom back, coming to L sit, exhale, drive the hips up. Inhale, this time we're going to walk the hands all the way back around again, back to the top of our mat. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath in, bend into the knees, Wave the body all the way to the top of the mat, coming into our plank, and then reverse it again. So wave the body all the way up to the top. Deep breath in, one last time, looking ahead, jump forward. Come down into your toes this time. So a little bit of a balance on the toes, arms straight out in front of you. Keep the back tall and long. Slowly make your way down onto your bottom, coming into Navasana here for me. Nice deep breath in. Hold, exhaling, inhale, 
Ground the hands together and now let's move side to side for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, we're going to come back to center, arms out to the side and slowly roll the body down. Extend one leg up to the sky, the other leg slightly off the floor. Taking your hands into Kali Mudra, moving up and down in a little pulse on your left hand side. Let's keep it going. We're going for 12 on each side. So once you've done 12 pulses of this movement, really engaging your core, let's switch sides. Coming into the opposite side. And you should be really feeling those lower abs working now. A couple more here to go. Almost there. Nice deep breath in. And now draw the feet up to the sky, grounding down. And then from here, let's just point and flex the feet. So we're just going to find a little bit of movement into these ankles. Take another deep breath in and out. And we're going to start to wind this practice down. So we're going to now come into our reverse cow pose. So crossing the legs over, grounding the back to the floor and drawing the feet towards the floor. If you can't quite manage this, you can grab hold of the shins or the knees. Take another round of breath here, inhaling. And as you exhale, ground down into the left foot and take the right knee and foot over to the left hand side. Opening up and really looking in the opposite direction to where the feet are going. Inhale, draw those tummy muscles in and then let's pull it into our figure of four. So just holding the back of the leg. Again, you don't need to here. So if you do struggle with this to keep your back on the floor, just use the power of your bottom leg to draw that leg in. Switching sides now, let's take the right leg over the left, coming into our reverse cow pose. Take a deep breath in, exhaling, really thinking of drawing the feet down. And then from here, grounding into the right foot this time, taking that opposite leg to the opposite side, looking in the opposite direction. You'll see here I'm holding on to my ankle just to get a slightly deeper stretch. And if you wish to do that, please do. But if that's enough where it's at, that's fine. So you draw the legs back in, interlace the hands behind the back of the thigh, coming into our figure four. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, release out. Should feel a really good stretch coming into the thighs and into the glutes. Release the legs down one by one, coming into our Shavasana, arms into cactus, and then slowly releasing the arms down by your side. Taking a moment to really slow this practice down, a chance to breathe deeply in through the nose, exhaling out through the nose. I really hope you've enjoyed this practice, that you've found the practice to really open up the body, a real chance to be present on this mat today to get the most out of this practice do this daily and let me know how you got on but for now i hope and wish you a very wonderful rest of your day thank you again